What about someone who feels that they can't get hold of inside them the desire to care about anyone? And in fact, what they hear when we're talking about this is they almost feel ashamed. They're saying, what's wrong with me that I don't feel any desire to find out how to be loving and compassionate? <laughs> well, that is kind of It's a lot of the same into, lines, I it know. Is. And you and I can attest to, we've all felt that way at times. Um, we had a lot more practice in getting through that, though. Um, you hit that point. It's a despair. It's a hopelessness. It's a discouragement. It is a form of emotional exhaustion and psychological exhaustion and spiritual depletion. Um, there's a name for it. I know the military uses it. And it's called moral injury. We call it bankruptcy of the soul. When people have been through such hard times that um, questions like that begin to come up, and I mean the intensity behind it is really... It's there. real, yeah. It's real. Yeah. So, yeah, that can happen. And um, there is usually a lot of rage in that one, shame and frustration, all of that. It's all part of that cycle of anger. Um, first thing yeah, is you're gonna need to, you gotta do some self-care here. Not to take it out on other people and keep blaming everybody else. Um, to take a look at what you're doing to yourself and to others to reach that kind of hopeless despair and discouragement and fearfulness is what it's really. Mm -hmm. You've gotta be able to realize you're gonna need some help and support. Yeah. Um, and you're going to need, our, the kind of help we give at our institute is, we call it trauma recovery. It doesn't have to be psychotherapy, but they do need to realize they're going to have to get some help in getting rid of that so they can begin to come back in a more refreshed state, mm -hmm. which is definitely possible. It is possible. But you've got to go through it enough times to realize that. Because yeah. we all hit that now with the kind of work we do. It's kind of part of the cycle. But we've been through it so many times we know, okay, so we need a good cry, or we need to let out some of this anger and frustration that's in us. How many times do we come back to f go back to very difficult situations with a new ability to be responsive, to be caring and not reactive? Mm -hmm. For me, it's thousands of times. We can find it within us. And that's why I can be doing this for 50 years and still feel very passionate. Mm -hmm. um, and you've been doing it a long time too, and many people that work for this and for us the same way. But we know that you can come back and get back on your feet. Yeah. Once you do it and get some help with it, you'll realize it's not hopeless. You and you will begin to care about others again. But at that point, you better take care of yourself first. Yeah. I want to leave time for the last question because I want to leave people with, we always want to leave people with more hope. 